Okay. All right, let's turn our attention to Showdown 49. You and guest. Sorry? You can ask our next guest if you watched it. Well, we will, actually. We'll go through the scores first. To the height, TJ put Adelaide comfortably in the end, but Adelaide gave a, a good effort. Your they thought. were physical and they, your thought. They were, they were <laughs> up for the fight last night, but Port Adelaide too classy, too strong all your over thought. the ground. And they are very well led by our next guest, Port Adelaide skipper, is Tom Jonas, joining us from Adelaide. Tommy, thanks for your time and congratulations. No, cheers, we Great to be on. It was on, it was a traditional showdown in terms of the physicality early. Did you sense that? Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, both teams got touched up last week, so they wanted to make amends, and the slippery conditions probably just fed into that a bit. So, I uh, you know how big a rivalry it is, and we really want them just to make a statement. Feels like both clubs have embraced it as well. The build up was strong. Matthew Nix and Ken Hinckley spoke about their dislike. Chris Davies, your footy boss said that he reinforces the message to the new players coming into Port Adelaide is why they hate the Crows. So take us through that during the week. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's healthy for the, the rivalry that both teams do that. And Chief actually sat us down and, you know, for blokes like me that have played in a few, we get, we get what it's about. But I think those five blokes playing their first showdown. So we watched a video and just basically talked about um, why it does mean so much to um, Port Adelaide and why it's such a big game. And Tom, the, 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 you need to respond because there's a pretty poor performance up there at the Gabba. So, you know, it would have been a strong week on the training track and in the auditorium, I suppose, after that performance. Yeah, absolutely. And we've been questioned and, you know, you never like that. You, you always have a little bit of an ego as a footy team and you don't want to be labelled flat track bullies. So it was a perfect opportunity um, to come out and do that. And we're going to have to dish up the same again this week. We're playing on a pretty, playing pretty strong dog side. Tom, I thought a couple of players were outstanding last night. Tom Cleary uh, in defence with you, but also Travis Boak, who's just so consistent, won the medal. But Cleary and him certainly set the tone. Yeah, I think, you know, blokes like Bokey and Robbie, they circle that date in the calendar and they just know they're going to um, show up. They look forward to it. And then Big Clasi um, gave the Tex a bit of a work over last night. He was up for the battle and he was magnificent all night. He was probably a little bit stiff not to cut up a few more votes. Yeah, I thought he was. I thought he was the best player on the ground. Tom Cleary will get the vote shortly. But uh, TJ, our fearless host, Tony Jones, thought you were being smart, Alex, by wearing the prison bar oh, jumper. Oh, no, I said the club, not the players. OK, well, the club were being smart, Alex. Um, how was it after the game? And do you think you were being smart by doing this? Oh, look, I think it was um, only a small statement for the significance of what the jumper means to our club and our people. And we wanted to, as players, um, show them how important it is to us too. So disappointing not to be able to wear it during the game. And I thought that was quite fitting. So was that the player's idea to wear that, was it? Yeah, look, I think a few blokes might have floated it during the week to Chris Davies and then um, he might have run with it. And it was still a bit of a surprise. And we made sure that uh, we went out there and got the result first. Tom, the additions of uh, Aratio Fantasia and Alir Alir have been profound already to this point of the season. They're obviously getting better as they as they get more experience with the uh, Port Adelaide system. Um, as captain, what, is, uh, what has their um, inclusion meant to you? Yeah, I think firstly, both of them are really good cultural fit. Raz is a really sociable, um, likeable bloke that brings a lot um, in the connection space. And then his footy's been um, doing plenty of talking as well. He missed a couple last night, but he's been popping up for multiples pretty much every week. And he's really selfless in the way he blocks for the big men. And Alir, um, I mean, he's just a great intercept marker. And he's that tall in the back that we've probably lacked a little bit. So um, it's been great having him back there. I love playing alongside of him. And probably means Trent McKenzie's been a little bit stiff because he's playing some really good sample footy. And you're having another strong season, Tom. So I just want to ask you, how has Alir coming into the team uh, adjusted your role? Has it changed much from last year? Yeah, it's probably just freed me up a little bit more to play um, a tad higher or on, on a small where I need to. So um, he gets that taller job, um, which sometimes, you know, could be a little bit difficult for me. But it's been good. They've just got the ability to share the roles around and not have to um, stick anything in particular. So we've got a bit of flexibility back there take a look at the votes because there were some good players. Port Adelaide very even, but I thought Tom Cleary just outstanding. 10 intercept possessions, 13 kicks, Amos. just unbelievable. Carl Amon's having an All-Australian year. Travis Boak, for obvious reasons, and Paul Seedsman was the Crows' best. He's also having a very good year. Now, Tom, before you go, uh, I'm quite sure your mum Karen's watching this, so do you want to give her a Mother's Day message as we show uh, our viewers, your mum? Yeah, yeah, she'll be pretty pumped with that, I reckon, TJ. I'm just a Mother's Day breakfast at the moment, so I'm going to get back to the table and uh, have a couple of hash browns and 
um, get around the old girl. So she's a, <laughs> she's a bit of a friend as all mums are. So yeah, big shout out to all the mums out there. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, good on you, Tom. All right, well man. done, well done. And the old man there, I sat next to him once. Oh, he's an old cocky, an old farmer, tough. <laughs> had the sleeves rolled up, mate. He just ate steak and drank beer. He loves it, doesn't he, Tom? Giving him too much credit, Bill. I told him about that, and he, geez, he had a bit of a um, bounce in his step after that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, terrific stuff, Tom. Nice to talk to you as always, and uh, continued success for the rest of the year. Thanks for having me, boys. All right, thank you, Tom Jonas, joining us there. Jonas to Tom. Good hmm. ambassador for the Port Adelaide football. Great player, man. Thought. Very well, he's good. Been, oh, he's been an Spending. outstanding leader. Yeah. When he first got it, did it surprise yeah, you? Yeah, I was... Because I was he wasn't the best player. I was critical of the yeah, club yeah. at the time. Yeah. I just thought it was going to be tough to captain from the last line of defence, but just he's surprised everyone that had wines and him. Yeah. Now just him yeah. and both players have flourished.